So uh, this is the follow-up uh, video um, to the BlockSwave tutorial um, and at the end of that I said I was going to do a, a launch pad track creation which is what uh, this is. So uh, basically I have uh, set up uh, six clips uh, in BlockSwave and uh, I have exported these to Launchpad. Um, and I am going to just basically create the track from scratch um, without really that much planning so just uh, basically um, <clears throat> making up as I go along and see how it goes um, but uh, so the, um, the next clip is just me going through the, uh, the different uh, clips I've set up. So uh, some of these are full um, eight parts and then there's a few that are smaller so you can have as many as you want obviously up to eight. Um, so you can see the different kind of uh, sounds. So the drums are green, percussion purple, um, bass is blue and melodic are pink effects are yellow. So yeah, so these are the basic building blocks uh, for um, for Launchpad. Um, and like I said, these are all um, mostly from lo-fi hip-hop or hip-hop haze um, with some drums. So uh, this is the uh, export to Launchpad. Um, so yeah, uh, basically just uh, going through, just checking these. So we click export in the top right hand corner, select launch pad, and then a WAV. And then since I'd already exported this, it's doing an update. Um, and then it will automatically launch launch pad. Um, so all my uh, clips are in place. And then we just get rid of that volumes. And uh, there we go. We're ready to uh, create a track. Yeah, this is the, um, the start of the uh, track, so uh, just uh, starting off with uh, a bit of an intro. And uh, you can see we've got uh, sort of two basses, a melodic and uh, some hi hats. So yeah, so I'm just playing around here, just uh, seeing what's going to work. Bring that piano, change the piano to synth. section. So this has kind of got quite a bit of a Japanese feel. Once you hear the main kind of uh, riff, it's, uh, it's quite kind of Japanese. So um, deep sparse is a, a trigger. So uh, most of these are loops. You can have one shot loops and triggers. But, uh, deep sparse is a trigger you can see has a different icon. Yes, 
so that's a gator effect applying to uh, channel 5. And then the flasher as well. So you can see by the yellow dots that we are going to get the effects again. Again, 
So uh, thanks for watching this uh, Launchpad uh, tutorial uh, video uh, and if you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button um, so you get uh, notific notifications of uh, future video uploads um, and uh, I will see you soon uh, in the next uh, video.